this thing's acting up right now. Going like crazy. Hey guys, sorry about that. Um, so yeah, this was just the update and an unboxing for you guys. So, um... Tonight, I should have some more Switch stuff up ready for you guys. Um, so, there's that. And then I'm going to, hopefully, tomorrow or Wednesday, I'm going to do a solo play of um, the pinball uh, game that I have. So, uh, if you guys are interested in that, that will probably be up tomorrow. And today, I'll have some Switch and then I'm also going to try to get some more uh, Star Wars Battle Squadron. Um, so, um, get work now I'm working on my setup for my uh, gaming. So, i um, got a package in the mail here. Ugh! It's pretty big, so... Yeah. I don't know what it is, per se. Stuff is, a lot of our stuff has been delayed. Okay, so we have non-gaming related items in here and gaming related items in here. So we have sun lamp. So this is definitely not gaming related, but um, now we have some gaming related stuff here. So we have. Dungeon Mayhem. So I'll go ahead and unbox this. Show off the stuff. <coughs> Sorry. Allergies. So, um. So, get your basic simple little roll book back in front there. Really simple and then you have the tokens that you can punch out um, so they got little hearts I usually punch these out very carefully but yeah they're really um, so that's what you get there so they got the little tokens and then we have the cards. So, I got a lot of different things that I will be um, showing you guys over the course of a few, the next weeks. I got projects I'm working on and things like that. Some are gaming related. So, as I'm working on my projects, I'll show you guys the projects so what I did and how they work and stuff like that because I really think that that's important to kind of show a little odds and ends outside like projects and stuff so we have the character cards here so each of these are individual decks so we have so in this character we have I don't know the names of the characters, but there's this character, and they have, everyone has a special ability, so since this is a live stream, I'm 
gonna just keep on going. If you have any questions, you guys can, if you're watching live, you guys can ask them and I'll answer them the best I can. Just put them in the comments section. Okay, this one you have you your health once uh your health once per opponent, then damage each one. you heal once. Hmm. Then each then damage each partner so. You heal once per opponent, then damage each opponent. Okay. I guess that's what it says. The symbols I'm just like Yeah, you recover one hit. Okay, recover one hit. Um each player including you discards their hand, mm -hmm. then draws three cards. And then this one destroys one um block damage card in play, so there's that. Sorry, I like I got the reference card, so I'm just trying to see what all. So, uh, there's the cards and the symbols. So that basically, this was two axes are better than one. These little lightning bolts mean you can play two. When you, when you play this card, you can play two more cards. So you can kind of chain them. So if you played this one, essentially now you're gonna have you played one. So this is the second one. So now you still can play three more. So you kind of can chain stuff and this means you draw two cards and then you heal once and they basically have all these really simple symbols you got the little reference sheets they got little flavor text at the bottom so it's a very light game you got the attack icon that's a special ability one So they got their own little so you got a lot of um so then you got like that. Spike shield. So they they kinda like uh I got a bag of rats so these things are just pretty standard so yeah so their abilities are what make the And that's their character deck. Um, then we got... So they're all color-coded at least. Two. So, that's nice to know. So this one is going to be... This guy. So it's kind of nice how they organize this stuff, so... What's his ability? Special ability. None of your opponent's cards affect you or your... Um, your uh, block damage card. This guy. And then it's destroy one armor card in play and steal the top card of any player's deck and play it. So, there's... Uh, their little iconography. So you got clever disguise. So they all have like their little symbol on there when they work. So pickpocket. So it it's all thematically makes sense. Sneak attack. So. Like I said, with the fact they have all the little iconography reference sheets, there's no question on what your character can and can't do. Oops. So, yeah, they're all unique characters. So, they all will have a...
specialized deck. There's that. We got the winged serpent for this one, so. And then it's got all the throne. So, so yeah, these are just basic. So, yeah, this is basically a light beer and pretzels type of game, like a filler. I would say like a filler type game, not to play like something you could you'd be playing all night long. But then again, maybe in the right mood, someone might want to play more than just a couple games. Some people, you know, like filler games are quick enough and get involved enough that you know you'll play more games. But us we usually do one filler open the nut game night and then we usually do something like a heavier game but sometimes our filler game becomes the only game depending on the time we start gaming and all that stuff so So there's two characters here. So you have, that's her little track oh, tracker. And then her special abilities, which for her, it's choose any card in your discard pile and put it in your hand. Destroy all block damage cards in play, including yours. So that's, it's, that's, woof, that's good and bad. I mean, the, Good, good if you don't have any. So she looks like she's like the cleric or the healer because she's. Divine Smite. So. Those are fighting words. And they got fighting words. So there's like little, like I said. For the most justice. For even more justice. So. For justice. <laughs> then you got Divine Shield. Like I said, all the. Then you got the Finger Wag of Judgment. So. Yeah, this is like very meant to be humor. High charisma. Banishing Smite and Divine Inspiration. So, so there's that. <clears throat> and then we have this one. This card. He's got, yeah, and there's his sheet real quick. So he's got mighty powers. Each player, including you, takes three damage. Take a uh, block damage card that any opponent has in play. It protects you now. Swap your hit, po hit points with another player. Oof. Wow. Okay. So you got fireball. Yeah. Using a fireball and a Tiny room, yeah, that's definitely not a good idea. Turn. Couple turns. And there's the vampire touch. So you could definitely, um, Thought. <coughs> so, magic missile. <laughs> so, that. so yeah, if you're familiar with D and D, then you'll probably be familiar with a lot of this stuff. Lightning bolt. Your 
lightning bolt. And your shield. I'll probably sleeve these, but I gotta wait and see though. Shield. Stone skin. <clears throat> Sneer. Knowledge of power. No, I'm sorry. Knowledge, not, knowledge is power, sorry. And mirror image. So, that's that character's deck. So there's all four of those. So, there's that one. Okay. We go into the box. We yeah, have this one. This is the Battle for Baldur's Gate expansion. Yeah, we got this on like, what was it? Cyber Tuesday. Or whatever. But just came now. So they were bundling everything all up at once instead of um, separately. So. Hence why the, you got the, I got the sun lamp in there. So then these are the other characters. You got Jahara and Minx and Boo. So those are those characters. And then of course, hit point trackers. Yeah, it's been going pretty good here. So, there's their card for their hit point track. And their ability card. So, let's see. Money powers. Each player gives their hit point total to the player on their right. Okay. Draw a card from the top of each opponent's deck. Wow. And then your cards... Deal one bonus damage this turn. So your attack cards, okay. Hmm. So basically you can take other people's cards and use them. So there's that. That's it's crazy. So yeah, they're kinda interesting. Squeaky wheel gets the kick. <laughs> Justice waits for no one. Twice the smiting. Go for the eyes, boo. <laughs> right. Someone hold my rodent. <laughs> What do we do, boo? What do we do? Wrap it up. Thanks, Mighty Mount. That's, wow. Pale Princess Nares. Scouting outing. Favorite and favor frenemies. And swap opportunity. So that, that could be a good thing and a bad thing. Depending on, it's, it's probably come down in the timing. And then we got the other character. Of course, their little tracker. And then there's their ability card. There. So this one has mighty powers. You may make an animal noise to attack each opponent. Okay. If in bear form, you heal one damn point of damage, and if in wolf form, you do damage attack. 
Uh, you may play a form card for free. So that's the abilities are. So this one's a shape show, bro. So. So, yeah, there's that. Call lightning. Thorn Whip, Quick as a Fox, Wild Rush, The Eldest, oh, Poochie, Bernard, Primal Strike. Seems not. To move with nature. Okay, and then you got the Shapeshift Wolf Horn. And then we got the Shapeshift Bear Form. It looks like there's more wolf form. One, two, three, two. And there's only two bear form ones. Hmm. Unless I looked overlooked something and it might have been in the car in here somewhere else. Hmm, okay, maybe. Maybe not. So there might be... So let's see. There's two 28-card decks, so... Okay, that's weird. All right, there's that. Ugh. All right, and then we got this one. Yeah, we basically um, there's like pretty much a lot of stuff on sale at that time, so. And we were looking for games that were um, filler and easy to teach games for our, our friends that are new to game. We got a uh, we had a new person, another new person joining. So we got that. So you kind of have to not go crazy, like playing your overly complicated games, so. Um, then we got the Forgotten Waters, which I'm looking forward to playing that with our group. And then I got the Munchkin Dungeon, which we're going to definitely play that with our group. And then the, so we're just basically starting with certain mechanics to start with. And that's a little deck box. Well, not a deck box, but for the components to go in here. So, a little bit of tape or glue or whatever. And then we'll have a sealed little box there. Then you got this little thing here that we don't need. And then we got that, all the decks in here.
so yeah we have quite a bit of stuff and then we got kickstarter stuff that's coming in and stuff and just we don't know when that stuff's gonna be hitting i'm still waiting on another thing for my uh, stuff some i ordered uh some parts for a project i'm working on uh <clears throat> i'll show you guys when it's done so let's see It looks like a mind flare or a beholder. Definitely a beholder. That's got to definitely be a beholder. So then that's their special ability. Let's see. We have each opponent can choose to praise you greatness. Two damage to those who do not. Choose not to. Until your next turn, choose the target of all attack cards. Oof. So you basically, everyone will be playing cards and they'll be attacking. Oh. And then they got the little skull thing. Says each, uh, two attacks each opponent with no um, defense cards in play. Then destroy all defense cards. Whew. Wow. So we got... Laser show. Make it work. So yeah, if you're familiar with like uh, me, myself, and I. Um, multitask. Tyranny of beauty. Tyranny, um, mirror, mirror. There's a couple of those. Double trouble. Fashion police. A couple of those. Cuter than you. Beauty barrage. Raise for days. We got the death ray. We got the charm ray. Praise him. So, yeah. <laughs> A little humor there. So I'll set this over to the side. Mm. Hmm. Got this character. This one says destroy a defense card, then attack for each starting. Uh, attack on this, on that card. And then, oh, then do X for each starting damage on that card. Hmm. So basically, it destroys all the defensive. So if you destroy a high-powered defense card, you basically deal damage. Each player may do a little dance and then draw a card. You draw a card for each player who danced. Uh, until your next turn, your opponent hits all opponents. So that one's got a little bit of to the face. To the face.
Send in the clowns. Talk to my agent. Intermission. Strong as a bear. Sorry. Wise as an owl. Crushing hug. <laughs> Let's see. You got the Hoots fan club. Made you look. Look out below. Very, very fast. Grand finale. For my next trick. For my next trick. Owl bear boogie. And owl bear boogie. There's that. Plop that down. Just so much stuff going on this week. So yeah, I was trying to put some Halloween videos up. I still have more to, that are going up too for the Switch. Um, I'm planning on having quite a bit of stuff up this week. And hopefully I can start my project this week, weekend or whatever, or this week. So we got the characters card. And then we got that. So this is um, Mighty Powers. Attack all opponents. Woo. All opponents. Double da uh, attack all opponents. Double damage on one opponent. Then a attack on a different opponent. So. Oof. Wow. Discard your hand and attack equal to the number of cards discarded. Maximum five damage. Each player must... Uh, Attack and recover one point. Or draw a card. Start with you and go right. You repeat all choices. You repeat all choices. Okay. So basically you mimic what they do. Apparently. So we got Evil Sneer. Peaceful Nap. Investment Opportunity. So yeah, this is all like tongue. Tongue and cheek humor. Wisdom. Mob of Lawyers. Cobalt Maid. Ancient Anger. Tooth and Claw. Oops. Wing Buffet. Bull Market. Murders and acquisitions. Each player must attack or heal or... Eh, that's that one. Liquid assets. Hostile takeover. And... That's those. So. Do, 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 do. So, yeah, there's quite a bit of stuff to go through. Alright. Sorry about trying to go through this. And we got that character, the Mimic. So, play this card as a copy of any other player's card in play. Use a top card. Use a top list of mighty power of the player to your left or right. Okay. 
Make one player's hit points equal to another player's hit points. Ouch. So that could include you. <clears throat> A well-fitted hat. So he's going to be morphing into these things. Not a mimic, really. <laughs> Non-carnivorous couch. <laughs> Delicious pie. Probably just dirty socks. Yeah, this is pretty funny. Actually an empty chest. <laughs> a potted plant. Honest. <laughs> Definitely not a trap. <laughs> like these, this is pretty funny. It's another coat rack. Yeah, these are pretty cool. Complete, completely safe door. A book cannot bite. Uh, it's not a trap. Oh yeah, that definitely a parody of uh, "It's a Trap" from Star Wars. Definitely just a mirror. <laughs> All right. So those are those. That's kind of interesting on that one. Uh, and then we got... Oh, looks like a gelatinous cube. Yep, gelatinous cube. So we got the hit point tracker, which is the same as everybody else's. And then we got the ability cards, mighty powers. Let's see, destroy a uh, block card and then recover one health for each starting on that card. So this turn your attack cards, ignore block cards. And then when this card is destroyed, you do two damage. So for them, I guess. So let's see, we've got cubes have feelings too. Cleric, a la slime. Arcane appetizer. Open wide. So there's that. Acid burp. Sugar rush. Fastest cube alive. D6 of Doom. <laughs> I like that. Uh, combat Cubed. Slime Time. Former Friends. Burped Up Bones. Here I Come. Hugs. Yeah, you don't want hugs from a gelatinous cube. Hugs. And then we got one more deck. So we got the Mind Flare. Those are the starting cards. And the health. So Mind Flare. What crazy stuff does this one have? Swap your hand with an opponent's hand. Okay. Add a top card of each opponent's discard to your hand. Not bad. Um, attack an opponent once for each card they have in their hand. Maximum of five damage. Oof, that, that really could hurt pretty bad. So it's five instant damage. That's like half their hit points. Receptionist. There's that. Enthralled thrall. Just a nibble. Puppet therapy. Relax after work. Diagnosis evil. Super ego whip. Sip tea. ID in insinuation. 
Ego Whip again. That's a different one. Yeah. PhD in psychology. Um, Mind Blast, obviously. Tell me about your mother. <laughs> um, mind games and mind games. So that's everything here. So I'm going to just pop all these cards into here. And since they're easily coated and stuff by colors, it should be you no know, problem to worry about putting them in here for the time being until I organize everything. Books, rule books, and books. Okay. Is there one, there's still one more thing in here. Ugh. Oh, boy. And then we got a box. So we got Deception, Murder, and Hong Kong. Yeah, we pretty much just, like... My fiance likes um, games like Clue and stuff like that. So this one's kind of like that. So of course it's a party game, so it's meant to be you know, played in large groups. So there's some tokens, little f oh expansions. The rule book, which there. Wow, these cards. This thing is really different than what I thought it was going to be. The cards and stuff. So these are thick. So you got motives. Locations. Progress. So yeah, this is gonna. Hint. So yeah, this is kind of weird. Um, general. Cause of death. So yeah. And we got the little bullet tokens. So this must be like a almost like the better uh, edition or something, I guess. I don't know. Okay, where did I get my? So yeah, like I said, this day's been busy, doing a lot of running around today. Got yeah, still a lot of projects to do around around so. But I definitely want to get stuff done for, uh, okay, so you got witness, murderer, so there's only one murderer, and then there's investigator, forensic scientist, and accomplice. So, yeah, this is definitely interesting, because those are hidden, the hidden roles. These look like these are the items and stuff, yeah. Candlesticks. So these are probably all the ones that were... Yeah, there's a plastic bag. Everything you could probably think of. Blood disease. So yeah, there's... I'm sorry, blood release. Uh, yeah, so... Whew, there's tons of stuff to go out. Match. So I'm not going to go over all the cards, but... I'm just going to... Showcase. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, people are asking me, like, how come I don't um, monetize or um, stuff like that. I just put up content to 
for fun. Um, I even had someone ask me to, or that I have someone actually want to do something for the channel rather than like I'm not opposed to someone um, messaging me a Nintendo eShop card or stuff like that, but I I'm not gonna advocate or make somebody feel obligated to do so. That's why I don't do it. I I just don't. I I just don't think that what I do is something that I should be paid to do when I'm just doing it for my own uh, having fun with the channel. I'm not really trying to do something to make money. It's just a hobby and interest. And I like to share my hobbies and interests with other people and hopefully uh, you guys have similar interests or find something that you may not thought you'd be interested in and actually are interested in. So, so these are all going to be different like ink and stuff so and that's why i'm trying to like branch like i said this is mostly like i said gaming and stuff and stuff to dealing with gaming but occasionally i'll put up some random stuff that isn't gaming or um board gaming related at all or something but i do want to definitely want to do keep the channel going and it's just like i said i trying to work on a schedule for streaming schedule and to work with my work schedule so just I'll show you some of them so but uh yeah right now it looks like uh i'm gonna be keeping my streams like during the week and then the weekends i'm busy with work because my work is open on the weekends so it's we're typically open three days a week. And for those of you that don't know, I work at an arcade. So, no offense to you guys, but yeah, I work at an arcade. That's an arcade family restaurant. It's almost like, kind of like the Dave & Buster's, but it's not Dave & Buster's. It's, a, it's an independent company, family-owned business, so it's just in my area. It's a one-of-a-kind place, so, and I, I'm working there. So, I basically work the, um, ticket booths for the, the, you know, like, what they call it, tokens, like, like, um, Chuck E. Cheese type thing, I do that, and I also work the attractions, like the bumper cars, laser tag, um, our thing called a dark ride, I'm, you can probably look up what a dark ride is, but it's essentially a almost like if you imagine if like House of the Dead was like in a wheel, uh, like in a roller coaster format. It's almost like that. It's you get three D glasses and um, the seats move, and you also have like um, like fans, fans in there like that'll like blow, so you, your body feels like it's actually. Um, involved with whatever's going on so when you when you fall like in the thing you're the the motion of the the seats and combined with the um the on-screen stuff and then the, the fans and stuff it really feels like you're you're partaking in and it's really fun um so so, I work, I work with the public quite often, so, because we're, you know, and then we do charity events and stuff like that. We do stuff for people with autism. We have, like, special days where people with autism can come in and have their own private um, event. So, those that are, like, special needs people and stuff especially are getting... To have their own special day where we will like make it autistic autism friendly like we'll we'll have the lights on on some of the stuff um turn down the noises so it, it's not much of a just uh, much of a nuisance for the autistic people so um 
yeah, we really try to make it a really fun place for everybody to come. Adults and kids alike. And of all different backgrounds and all different... Um, all different likes. Um, so... We do not, they, we don't discriminate anybody and we try to make everybody feel like they're, um, like they're, like they're family almost and they come in and have fun. So it's a really cool place to work. It's family owned, so it's not like a corporation, so there's no, um, stuff, but yeah, so. If everything goes well this week as planned, it will be, like I said, some Switch games. I will be playing the pinball solo uh, roll and write game. I'm just going to basically probably play the basic, the first one they recommend playing with, which is the, uh, the carnival table. And then I'll branch out and start doing the other, try the other ones out as well. And, uh, <clears throat> I'm hoping tomorrow I'll have the, all the stuff I, well, uh, tomorrow I'll get all the stuff I need to do the, uh, start the, to finish the project, or at least start it. And then when I start it, I will kind of, like, do, like, little video clips of it. And then I'll, um, try to figure out how to edit it all, put it together, upload it for you guys. Um, so... There's that, so I appreciate um, all these new subscribers I've gotten. Um, definitely going to be doing some more arcade type stuff. Um, there, there, like I said, I want to maybe like I'm trying to like I want to film some stuff where I work, like the actual games I'm playing, like and but I had to have someone with me because I can't do it when I'm at work, so because I'm not allowed to, to play games when I'm at work. Other than if you're doing laser tag or bumper cars, can you? partaking in any of that stuff like even the bumper cars you're not allowed to go in there with them but you have the bumper cars you have like um control over the the making them spin stop from spinning and different things like that so but as far as um stuff going i don't usually not gonna film people i don't know doing stuff that you know so because not everyone wants to be on camera. So got to respect that. And got to respect people's privacies too. So yeah that's. Basically I've been getting like one guy. Uh, one person com was saying. Dude. Uh, I was complaining. Uh, it, was, it was hilarious. He said. Um, oh great. A guy, a person's channel. Where I watched someone filming something. With a camera and pointing at a TV. How pathetic. Like okay. Um. I don't have the money to buy as expensive equipment, so, um, but I did, and like I said, I did get a, um, I got a, uh, capture card that doesn't require any, that's really easy to use, um, which I've been using for the Switch, and it's working great, I'm gonna try it with other things too as well, like I said, the PS4, I don't have to worry about that, because the PS4 has got its own streaming software built into it, so, that I don't have to worry about that, but the Switch doesn't have its own unique uh, recording thing, which I wish it did, but I understand that the, it's a family-owned, family-type system, so they don't want exactly have kids streaming without, you know, because otherwise they'd be stream, they'll be stream without, you know, parents knowing, and so I get, I get it. I'm not, like, angry about it or anything. I just kind of find it funny that they don't have that option. So, um, yeah. So, that's what's going on. So, if you guys got any questions or comments, you can put them down below and I'll, I'll answer them in another video. Um, like I said, um, I had to put my, I wanted to get another, make a, discord channel eventually just specifically for this channel you guys can go and um like if there's something you want a particular see that i have gaming wise as long as it's like 
appropriate. There's some stuff I don't, I won't stream or record. Yeah, I'm a little tired today. So, uh, yeah, that's it. So you guys have a good one. Like I said, tonight will be uh, a Switch game will be up, and then I'm hoping by the end of this week I'll be able to get back to playing Star Wars Battle uh, Battle Squadron because I really like it a lot. But I'm waiting to get my stuff hooked up for that. So see you guys soon. Thanks for watching. All right.